not going to work. If it's deficient, you know, you're going to have failing eyesight. If you don't give your body what it needs, it needs some care. You know, if you're not going to do that, your body is not going to work like it should. And we all, and our bodies really are meant to last us to be about 100 years old. So, if your body is meant to last that long, you know how you buy a washing machine with the lifespan on it, a, car, a house, a car, our bodies is about 100 years. So, if you take care of it, now, you're not promised 100 years, I'm not saying that, <laughs> but that's what our bodies are meant to be in on average. And so, at 50, if you're just like really weak and there's so many things wrong health-wise, you might want to rethink how you're taking care of your machine, okay? Um, okay, so we talked about diabetes, and I think we mentioned, make sure I got everything. With diabetes, we can have nerve damage, okay? We can have poor circulation, which we've talked about with your feet. Um, you can lose limbs. You can have a stroke, heart attack, kidney damage, hearing loss. I mean, it's a whole stuff. That's all I just ran on. <laughs> but, there's a host of things that you can get with type 2 diabetes, and it is preventable. And most of the problems that people have, even though they come in a different name, all come from the source of diet. And what I mean by that, if you have a poor diet, then you end up with a heart attack. And we talked about a heart attack with even potassium deficiency. So potassium deficiency or eating too much sugar, both going to give you a heart attack and they start from the diet, even though we, we call it a heart attack, you know, but we're not really going back and going to the real problem. What really happened, let's go to the beginning of the story. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes because we have all these different diseases with all these different cute names, we just focus on that disease, on that name. But if we really go back in the story and go, hmm, what does that person's diet look like? What is, that's probably where we would find our problem. Now, that's not always the case, but that's probably where we would find the problem. Okay, so let's play a little game. And let's see. Can you guys name what this is? Okay, I got two hands up. I should pick on someone who doesn't have that hand. <laughs> okay. Did you put your hand on when I said it? <laughs> okay, let's see. What is this? Eggplant. Yeah. Eggplant. Very good. Okay, did everybody know what this was? Very good. Are you guys doing this? Okay, what is this? Did you put your hand up so did you do know what it is or you don't? I do. You do? Okay, I'm not gonna call. Anybody else? You know what it is? Yeah. Do you know what this is? 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 Okay, what is this? It looks like a wax turnip. It they almost could be twins, so you're not incorrect. Because you could mix them up. Yes, it is. Did you guys hear what you said? A rutabaga. Okay. Okay, we'll cover up the What is this? <laughs> what else is this? Everybody? Okay, let me see. Do you know what this is? What is this? What is the rutabaga? Right? Honey bun? Okay. Have you come up the name? Okay, what is this? Anybody know? Anybody? You know what this is? What is this? Potato chips. Wow, how did that happen? How is it we know what certain things are like chips, but we might not know what this is? How does that happen? Anybody know? It's not part of your regular diet. And when you're kids, you may not cook as much, so I'm going to give you an out. <laughs> but 
sometimes we don't know what it is because we don't cook with it, we don't eat it, we don't, we don't want to eat it, you know. <laughs> but that's kind of what happens. And the more we get away from um, farming, because you know, if we maybe talk to our great grandparents, they probably still have an affiliation with farming. But for most of us, we really don't. And so we've kind of been removed from our food, so we don't know where it comes from, we don't know how it grows. I mean, some of us, I probably could convince a child that canned goods growing again ground. They probably would believe me. Because, you know, we don't have that. There's nothing wrong with that per se, but it can make us not very knowledgeable if we don't consciously go out and get the information, consciously go out and, you know, make a point of eating different vegetables because as we talked about before, certain foods have higher numbers, you know, so if it's a lot of foods you avoid, then it might be harder for you to get certain nutrients. And so again, we want to eat the rainbow. We want to eat different things. We want to eat in season. This is, again, it's a lot of conversations we can have about healthy eating and why, you know. Again, we hear these phrases, eat locally and all that. There are reasons why, um, you want to do certain things, and again, we can't address everything, but it's very, very important that we eat the rainbow so that we can get or try to get the nutrients that we need. So if we if we miss the mark on Monday, maybe Tuesday, you know, we'll eat a little bit more potassium. We maybe didn't get as much on Monday. But if we're eating a healthy diet, it's going to be rounded out, you know. Whereas if we're eating potato chips and honey buns, we're not going to get what we need, right? And that's why, I don't know if you guys watched the uh, Sesame Street, but they had a song on there called Sometimes Foods. And that's what these are. These are sometimes foods. I'm not saying you can't have it, but you should have this sometimes. Not all the time. This should not be breakfast. This should not be lunch. And this should not be dinner, okay? This should be sometimes, every once in a while, chip or whatever, but it should not be the source, the main source of your diet, okay? Because if it is, you're going to be sick. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but your body, that machine is going to break down, wear down, because it does not have the fuel that it needs. And it, you get the fuel from one source, and that's food, okay? Um, can I get a volunteer? <laughs> Who's good at reading? Okay. Can you stand here? Reading ability. It's just these are some words you cannot pronounce. Okay? And I kind of try to do a rule of thumb. If I cannot pronounce the ingredients, I try not to. That's just kind of that's just kind of where I'm at. <laughs> you know. Um, again, if I do, I just go, okay, oh my goodness. And I just maybe eat a little bit or maybe not at all. But does that sound appetizing? Does that sound like mm -hmm. And this is what I really encourage people to do. Before you eat it, turn it over. Like, don't look at the pretty picture on the front. That's pretty. Okay. Turn it over and read it and see what's in it. Now, there are some processed foods that are not that bad. That are, when I mean processed, I kind of call things that are in a package sometimes processed, but, um, or things that man has touched and manipulated. Um, some things are not that bad. So, if you want to eat something in a package, which is okay sometimes, read the back first, because there might be a better way to get a snack, or whatever you want to call this. It. It's called a snack. I don't call it a snack. But it, again, it's very important that we know what we put in our body. Does that sound like what our body might be? Now, it does have calcium and iron, a, a high percentage, which is about 15%, and that's only because they added it. It's not like it's naturally in honey bun. They added, <laughs> they added iron, they added calcium, just so, I guess, so when parents look at it, they won't say what <laughs> and put it back. So they say, let's give them something. <laughs> so that's kind of typically what happens with, and that's why you hear enriched 
usually they've added, um, taken away and added. And that's a lot of times what happens with our foods, enriched flour. They take stuff away and then they add flour back to it. Go figure. But anyway, so this is not what we should be eating, right? Do we agree that this is not, this is, at least let's not let this be breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Let's, let's kind of agree to that. Or maybe try to do it like twice a week. If you do it every day, maybe bring it down to three times a week until you get to a point where this is not necessarily a major source. Okay, well today, okay, today what we um, have done for you guys, we saw some cooking. They peeled apples and I hope you guys saw what they were doing. Did you kind of look at them? Okay, I should have mentioned that. But they peeled apples, chopped them up, and they put them in a pan, and they just let them get warm and tender in the pan. They didn't put anything in the pan, and they were able to cook and not burn because they continuously stirred them. And they put the top on the apples so that the steam would come built right back in. So again, it had some moisture that way so they would burn. Now, depending on your cookware, you may have to add a little bit, if you try to do the same thing at home, you may have to add a little bit of oil, but for the most part, most cookware, you should be able to do the same thing, where you put the top and just kind of watch the temperature and, and keep it going. So anyway, they made warm apples, and when they make them, they kind of, they don't cook them enough for me, I like them to do them. But um, they cook them just the way they like to eat them, but that's fine. Now. When, you, um, when they cook the apples, they peel the apples. Now, when you peel apples, you get rid of what? The bottom. Hmm? The bottom. The bottom. What neutral are you getting rid of when you peel the apples? Anybody know? What's in the skin? Fiber. Okay. So, see, they did get rid of one of the main nutrients in the apple. However, I think apples without skin is a whole lot better than the honey bun. Would you agree? So, no, this is not necessarily the healthiest way to eat an apple, which is raw, you know, after you've cleaned it or organic apple, whatever. That's not the healthiest way to eat apple where you're peeling the skin, but this trumps the honey bun every time, okay?